And I think we need to educate uh, billions and billions of people around the world on how to do data and AI themselves. That's why I'm super excited to announce today that we're actually launching what's called the free edition of Databricks. So, <laughs> so what is the free edition of Databricks? Free edition of Databricks means you don't need to swipe any credit card. We're not going to ask you for any credit cards, we promise. Uh, and we're not going to ask you for a business email. Uh, you can use your Gmail or your Hotmail or, uh, you know, and just log in. And you can get a free slice of Databricks forever. What we're really excited about at Databricks, and this is another one of our big announcements, is that we think that there's going to be almost a new architecture for these databases going forward, like almost like a new category. Uh, we call this the lake base. And you know, it might sound familiar. It's you split the database into a base and a lake layer. And you take the data that's sitting in these traditional transactional databases, and you store it in lakes, OK, in cheap data lakes, uh, in an open format. You know, a couple of years ago, there was a discussion that we wanted to really democratize things in Databricks with what we called Databricks apps, OK? Uh, and we had a big discussion internally, and there's always debates at Databricks, you know, how should we prioritize things? And I was kind of a skeptic. I said, it takes a long time. Writing these apps is going to take a very, very long time. You know, it's, you know, how much resources are we going to put on this? Uh, and we actually made a bet internally. And I said that, look, I, didn't, I think that in the first year, you know, maybe we'll have some hundred of organizations using this. And I was totally wrong. So we launched this in November 2024, so Databricks apps, and we have over 2,500 uh, customers actually building their own applications, you know, vibe coding them, building them. And the beauty of it is that it just integrates directly with Databricks. So how do you balance this trade-off of quality versus cost for your agents? So that's why we're very excited. This is another one of our big announcements here at the conference, probably the last one today, uh, to introduce Agent Bricks. OK. So these are production AI agents auto-optimized on your data, OK? So they provide you data intelligence. And the way it works is that there are bricks for the different agents that you can build. They're high level. They map to your business problems in your organization. So unlike our agent framework from a year ago, uh, which was much more low level, this maps to the business problems you have. And then it uses agent framework under the hoods. So what did we hear today? Uh, number one, we heard lake base as a new architecture, a new way to build databases in the future where you separate the compute and storage. And I think that this is the future of all of our transactional databases. And we have it available in Databricks today. On top of that, we announced Databricks apps, which is a way in which you can just connect all of your data inside the lake house to your apps and democratize that in the organization. We talked about Agent Bricks, which has built-in evals. And we can do the optimization for you. And you get the cost quality trade-off that you can pick from. And then finally, we were super excited uh, to announce free edition of Databricks with a $100 million investment. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the sessions after lunch. Thank you.